The following is a presentation of TFNN. Now, your money masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us right now. We get the Dow 47, Nasdaq uh, down 8, S&P's off 7.5. You get gold down 17. Let's see, uh, platinum's down 32. You get uh, copper off 8 pennies. Uh, oil's getting a little smoking out here today. Down uh, 265, bonds up 8 ticks. The uh, dollar index is up uh, 20. And, uh, you know, uh, if you haven't found out yet, folks, yes, they, they have that Apple 24-hour financial station right now. And uh, we've been following it all night. Steve and I just sat, sat up all night following that station. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it's up a dollar. And, folks, I'm only kidding. And, you know, I, I, it, what, 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 what had happened is that yesterday inside the den, one of our Tigers of Tigers, I forget what it was. Yeah. Um, he was talking about, uh, she was talking about uh, at the 24-hour station. Yeah. Well, bottom line is I mentioned it on the air and I showed in the afternoon. <laughs> she said all these e emails I got. I well, it. not a huge one, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I got yeah, six or great. seven. It's said, great. hey, I couldn't find the station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, is, like, it is all about F all the time. Oh, my God. you got to love it. <laughs> hey, even yourself. You were out buying. I, you I, were out I, buying Apple uh, yesterday or two days. Two days ago. Two days, two days you, ago. Well, you know, and, I, and I'm a huge Apple supporter. But I, yeah. well, no, my sister gave me uh, an iPad, so now I'm turning into an Apple freak too, probably. You uh -oh, know what I mean? Uh -oh, yeah, uh -oh. I, exactly. It's probably dangerous. But before that, I've always I, when I said to the guy the other night at the store, I mean, I. I've bought, you know, you get five kids. Right. Every right, one of them right, have right. had, you know, every device there is. Yes, you know for I mean? sure. They all like sure. them, so. No, no, no. Hey, great product, you know, for sure. Oh, they change. He, he, he changed the world. There's no two ways about that. Yeah. There's no two ways about that. Well, you know what gets interesting here, too? When we, when we talk about Apple, when we talk about uh, Cook, watch this. This is interesting. Now, he, right before he came out saying that the dividend and what he's going to do, yeah. he sold $20 million worth of stock. <laughs> right before, right yeah, before. yeah. Well, he, I'm sure he could. Well, it, yeah, uh, but, but, but that, that was may, interesting. That may, that may have already been on a. Uh, well, it has to be. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. But not, you know, that's the way to do it. You you sell it. So so picture that. This is where this gets, folks. This is what you absolutely want to wrap your head around. And I had brought this up actually on the day that they come out with that statement. Yeah. These executives, what they do is that they. Say they want to buy back the stock, right? Right. To hold it up, right? right. As they're right, selling that's it, that's right. That's right. That's Imagine right, that's you're in right, that situation right. that you're right. using the company's money to hold the stock up as you're selling it. Yeah, it's a it's a gaff. The whole thing's a gaff, man. It really absolutely a gaff. Now you want to see something, folks, that is absolutely over the top, and this happens over and over again. Let me tell you something. Yes, I don't so know how it happens. Yes, but it happens. Okay, Rangel Resources, strongest gold stock there is. Yeah, Has down, been down for the last five and, and, and a half years, yeah. right? Bottom line, you know, if you get the gold report, you know that, well, we don't own it. We haven't been on it. We, we basically sold it at 101 a long time ago, 109, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. But, and, and the reason is that this had this high volume low, and I'm saying to myself, what is going on here? Yeah. Now, picture this, folks. This is sick. This is a uh, uh, military coup in Mali. And that's what has it oh, down. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it, but how does that, that work? Oh, how does how it. does the market uh, know? That's the thing. These ones blow sure, my mind. Sure, 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 sure. How does sure. the market know that something's going to happen? And in this case, a military coup. Okay. And you know, and don't buy this thing, by the way, folks. Okay. It opened at ninety one. It's at ninety five right now. It wants to bounce. But bottom line is that this wants to go after eighty nine point nine zero. And you know. Uh, this is an equity. Okay, so let's go through this technically first and fundamentally. Fundamentally, yeah. you know, Mark Bristow is one of the best operators out there. Um, I, I expect this on, on a long-term basis, there's nothing wrong with the stock, okay? Yeah. On a short-term basis, though, what you have, which is screaming, okay, is that the stock wants to go to 76. Yes. You know, it's screaming. You know, so great. Wait to 76 because then you'll have a consolidation between 76 and 90, 80, you right, know, right, even right, if it doesn't right, go to highs again. Right, right. You know, you know it, it's, it's really wild, man. And the I, other one that does business down I, there. I like you're saying, you know, how, how it works, I don't know. I don't, but, but, but there's enough signals out there, somehow, that it just works. Yeah. I mean, because, <laughs> just, I, I mean, I, 
what, what I what I what I mean by that is that I absolutely understand it because high volume yeah, loads yeah, get tested. Yeah, of course. But how the but, heck but does you that look, work? But you, yeah, you always you always you always looking for well, what's that piece of information? What yeah. is it? What is it that's going to push gonna it, down make it down, down, down there? Right. What's going to make it? Uh, what's going to make a military coup? <laughs> absolutely. That's, that's, ah, okay. I didn't see that one coming. That, you know, yeah, yeah, that's over the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah exactly. you know what I mean. It, 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 what it is, folks, is they do two thirds of their business in um, in that in that country. Now the another one. Um, Anglo Gold. Yeah, they do not a huge amount, but they do it. But that broke out the bottoms too. That's yes. yeah. That's you know that's that has some. Pro they all have some problems. Yeah. Um. You know and well, and like you were saying, like you were saying yesterday. You know, it's uh that you know they're all showing some problems, and gold still has further to pull back. It yeah. Well, you know, it's a it's a it's a confirmed ABC down the weekly. Now it's a confirmed ABC down the daily. Mm, okay. It, oh okay. yeah. It's let me tell you something, folks. If you're walking into this market, you better be prepared because. And there's still too many people that I can just see it. They they they're buying every one of these, and they're getting smoked every time. And it, you know, it's sad. I mean, but you know, it's 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 late parties. Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, which which is terrible. You know, the uh, now, uh, you know, yesterday we were talking about the XLE. Exactly. And, so and the more that I keep looking at this, I, I this is this is a longer term deal. But this meaning this is what I think is happening, folks. If I go back to 2001, yes, right, okay. when we got in the gold market, the last thing I expected was that the gold market would move with the broad market. Okay. That's the right, last right, thing right, I right, 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 right. Well, bottom line, that's what it did. Yeah. That, that, that is absolutely what it did. And what, what you had is that the gold market brought up the small caps, brought up everything. It turned into a commodity market. That's right. Now, and, it wasn't just gold. Yeah. And, and at that stage, was the were, was weighting structure inside the index as commodity intense as it is today? No. Okay. No. So so even today, it even has more relevance. That's right. Right, to understand where the commodities are going. That's right. Versus it, back it, in it, 2001. And, and that's what brought everything up. Yeah. So for, you yes. had the gold, yes, yes. you had the oils, you had the drillers, yes. all, it was all commodity based. Yes. You, you had the uh, machinery, the food, the wheat, the yeah, con, the, that's that, right. it was a commodity based deal. Yes. And that's the kind of market that we've been in. Now, and which is great because I know you, you know, oftentimes you'll, you'll tell folks it's, we're in a commodity market. Right. But they don't necessarily, you know, aren't able to connect the dots. So I think that's, that, that's real clarity, yeah. I think. You should, like yeah. Caterpillar, like Deer, yeah. all, all those things. That, so that's, that's what we're in. Yeah. So now, this is what I think is going on. It makes no sense whatsoever. And that, now, what, thank God what happens is that, see, fundamentally, you know, I started the bank of business, okay? But yes. then I knew yes. that, okay, technically, well, two different things end up happening, folks. Fundamentally, you can get so much done. Technically, you can go across markets at ASAP. Yes. You know, if you want to spend, you know, weeks studying, that's great. That that works, okay. Sure. But but the For bottom sure. line is that technically you can go across. What was going on in the gold market, I'm saying to myself, man, this is a sick market right now. So pitch this. I yeah, have the gold report and I'm saying it's a sick market. But yeah. it is. That, you know, For that's sure. So, For sure. So what the biggest disconnect that I saw is that okay, if the Equities are going down so bad, and gold's hanging up there. Yeah. What's, what is the problem? Yeah. The yeah. you know, bottom line is that you know we're not exposed, thank God. But now what I'm, I'm seeing, and, and started yesterday, I says, oh my God, what's going on here? And this is the larger picture, folks. What's going on is that gold, the gold companies are the leaders, and now the oil companies have got to be next. And let me tell you something. If these oils, if we get that, if we have that volume today like it looks like it's going to happen in these oils yeah you're well, going to see, yeah, you're gonna see the, exactly. the next thing will be the s&p and and that's going to that's the whole lead structure on the way down which right. is really sick right because right. what you also have not so much in, in the golds right now but in the oils they stop piling out of these oils man there's yeah. big big money in them well you know in my my, my clients and i we they, even though the market was going up the first sector that gave us a signal that it was starting to go south was the xle Yes, and we went ahead. We you know we took a short position, and we ended up uh, you know getting stopped out as it's moving back up with a, with a small profit in it. Okay, but 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 I'm sitting here to take a look at the market, knowing that the energy sector you right. know, is such a big piece of it. Huge, and I'm sitting here saying, well, I, I know the energy sector is showing weakness, right? You know, right. and what you know, so there was that still that disconnect. But the bottom line is, if you just still just come back to the charts, let the charts tell you what they're doing, mm -hmm. and much then just easier. follow the charts. It's yeah, much that, easier. That's right. There's no doubt about it. You know. And and now uh, this morning, you know what the XLE has done? It's a gap down big, uh, folks. You know, yes. so it's taken out. It's taken out its swing point. Now that swing point, March six, only thirteen million shares. 
Uh, we've been open in the market here for uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes. And what it's done is uh, almost three and a half million shares. So it's going to have the juice. To uh, to and you took it out with a gap, so you're coming into the D point, right? You know, of just a one to one A to B with a gap. That says to me that says that what you're really looking at on the XLE is more like the uh, 69 to 70 uh, range. So, yeah, and, and and then all of a sudden that makes sense because you know just watch this. I haven't I haven't done it, but I'm just going to take a look at the retracement because it's just normal. If you just simply come back to uh, December 19th where you had its last move up. And we take a look at a 1 to 1.618, A to B equals C to D, it's a 0 0.618 retracement. So it is a, you know, it's a currently buy. Good. If, you know, if that area holds. Yes. So. Well, yeah, watch this. You know, on the XLE, folks, right, what is sticking out also like a sore thumb, and this is a correction and a half. Well, that's more than a correction. Yeah. What you're looking at, if you're watching Tiger TV, is October 4th. The volume is a monster. Yes, okay. It's okay, going okay, after. Okay, 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 gotcha. We're going to make a yeah, fortune. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Let me tell you, that is absolutely, that, that low out there, folks, is uh, 58, the high is 54. Yeah. Now, watch what it did. This is what's really cool, too. You know, you're doing the Master Trader um, yeah, this, being, leave, tomorrow, leave this afternoon. Yeah. If you, hey, listen, if you're in Denver, Colorado, and you want to see Steve live tomorrow and Saturday, folks, it have a great education with a money-back guarantee, give the office a call this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, it's the 23rd, 24th, tomorrow and next day. Yeah, that's we'll right. Oh, it's going oh, it's to be great. Oh, uh, Tampa, Florida is going to be uh, April 13th and 14th, and Boston, Massachusetts is going to be April 27th and 28th. Okay, so w when, when I do the master tradies, I always put up one of these lines. And that's what, right. what I show right. folks is this, is that how you basically hit... The channel line coming down tells you quite a bit. So you can go like this. So from the bottom, the first hit was no big deal. The first hit, cheap money, $32 million, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Second right, right, hit, right. what we have, $32 million. Nothing that much. Now, as you go back up, $14 million. Yeah. Bottom line, you know, you're outside of the line, number one. Well, that's right. That's and then right. what you, is... You've broken the trend. It's, you know, we, we, we'll see whether we get some real conviction on the weekly. But that's that thing is wide open. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We get the Dow down 69, NASDAQ off 15, S&P's uh, off 9. We're going to be right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Folks, turns out my best student became my best teacher. Steve Rhodes absolutely raised my standards, and I'll guarantee he'll raise yours. Thanks, Tom. What I've learned is that if you want more, you must become more, and that transformation, folks, that occurs the moment you decide to become a master. Now, the quickest way to mastery is through immersion, and for two solid days in Denver, Boston, and Tampa, I'll create a new standard of wealth for those few trader investors who have a burning desire to succeed. At my Master Trader course, I'll teach you how to create the ultimate money machine. These are the best-kept secrets in the business. Roadblocks, folks. Dabblers give up when they first appear. Stressors last just a little bit longer, but masters expect roadblocks and achieve extraordinary results when they bust right through them. I have all the benefit of knowing the type of wealth creation that I can generate for you. You don't. That's why I'm making this unconditional money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not satisfied with my Master Trader course, I'll refund every penny. That's right. I take all the risk, and you get all the benefit. Go to the homepage at TFN.com and sign up today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your the Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm a, like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it just, it's just wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Don't forget, folks, uh, if you do want to come to uh, Steve's Master Trader tomorrow in Denver, Colorado, come on our website, give our office a call. It's March 23rd, 24th. Great education. Uh, and you know what, folks? Uh, where, where can you get two days of it's Steve be, Rhodes in, be, in person with a money back guarantee? Oh, my God. It's and you're going to be meeting some tigers and tigresses out there because he's got a, a good crowd. It's going to be great. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really uh, I'm psyched up for this. Yeah, you got to be. Yeah. 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 And it's, it was nice because, you know, uh, last night was just really some finishing touches. Getting, right. You know, and it was just nice and easy and right. calm. And, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, totally. I loved it. And he's going to be in Tampa April 13th, 14th, Boston April 27th and 28th. Um, you know, so so I got the I got the uh, euro uh, U.S. dollar currency pair on my screen here, and I got the 60 minute chart. So, folks, if you're you know you can always watch us on Tiger TV. Just go to the homepage of tfnn.com and uh, check us out on Tiger TV. You can also catch the archive of the show live. So, if you happen to just be listening on your device because right. you've got you know a uh, earphone in one ear because you're at work. God bless you for doing that. <laughs> and uh, what you will see here is you'll see that as the uh, euro was moving down into the uh, 6 a.m. time frame this morning, what it was doing was you've got great sacred geometry between swing points here. You've got a 0.618 retracement, and that's coming off of the swing point uh, going all the way back to March 16th when the euro really had some nice conviction uh, behind it. And you've got a 1.618 expansion off its most recent swing point. And this was after it was really, this is where the sacred geometry actually can stop something dead in its tracks. Because you had some pretty good conviction this morning from yes. five, you know, from coming 4 down. to 5 a.m. coming right. down. And then that uh, last hour, you know, ran right in. You know, like you were saying earlier, when you were taking a look at uh, gold, ran gold. Okay. Yes. You know, you don't know how, how does this work. I know. Right. Okay, right. and I say the same thing as well. That's why I want to go ahead and draw them ahead of time. It's so amazing. I know where those yeah. areas are. You know, right. I don't know why. I don't know why. How, you know, how, why? I just know that it works. Exactly. No, exactly. You know? I know. And so, so now it's an important area on the uh, on the euro, and the bottom there being that one thirty one uh, three twenty eight. Uh, because if that gives way, that's that's some important. That's an important area right. of support. That gives way. You know, there's there's certainly much lower prices to come, but. What should happen here, we should see the market, again, try to claw its way back. Which is dynamite. Just simply because there's, we should see a bounce up in the euro, another retracement in the, uh, in the euro. You know what's so cool, what you're saying, is that the, 
no matter which way it goes. And this is important to understand, folks, okay, that no matter which way it goes, it's releasing huge information. Yeah. Because you, know, you just said if it breaks down, well, that's big because then... then, that, no, then exactly. Yeah, that's, right. And that, that's, how, that's really how you have to use it. That's where you've got to be able to make that switch to deciding that what you're going to play right. is, the, is the, you're going to be in the money business. Yes. You're not. You're not about trying to prove right. something. Right. Okay. Right. You know where the markets are going to go. Right. You got to release right. that. Right. No. In, in my opinion. Oh, big time. What is the chart oh, yes, telling you? Does, What's the chart telling you right here, right now? Right. Totally. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What's it doing right yeah, now? Exactly. Totally. Man. So that's what that's what I love about. That's it. a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. Let's see. What we get some of the uh, high volume stocks out there. What do we got happening? You know, it's pretty nice. They did this a whole different way again. Now, now watch what I can do here. I'm digging this. So let's go into the basic materials first. And okay. Just look at the basic materials. So inside the basic materials, you want to, <laughs> that's pretty intense. So look at that screen, folks. That's basic materials. There's not one green one. Holy cow. See that? Yes. Now, yes, that, that's yes. the highest volume inside basic materials. Okay. So they're, Alcoa, Alcoa. They're all red. Uh, okay, right. They're right, all right. red. Every one of them, which is really unusual. Now, let me go inside. Uh, let's see. Wait, why don't, let's go inside yeah, the energy. energy. Yeah. <laughs> you got one green. How about that? Look at that. And that, that, that's of the top 28. Uh, that's of the top 28 in volume. from a volume standpoint. That's right, which is which is really helpful. Oh yeah, it is. This is a this is a new setup they just had. This, okay, this, this just popped up this morning. Okay, so now so, let's yeah. go inside the financials. Man, this is pretty that's intense. Let me it tell is, you something. For the intense. market that only being intense. down a little, folks. Yeah, this is uh, this is saying quite a bit, man. People are selling like crazy here. Let's try to see if we can find something. You bulls, give me a call. See if we can find something that's bullish. You know? <laughs> oh, technology. We gotta find Apple in there. Where is she? Oh, only number four. Only you got Oracle. Oracle uh, leading the charge. Oh, look the, at an uh, Apple. Oracle Apple's Apple. Something must be wrong with my screen. I got Apple Red. Yes, sir. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Western Digital. Look at this. This is pretty cool, man. This is saying there's a huge amount of selling that's going on, and you know you wouldn't know it when you look that's at the right, indices. Right. The indices yeah, aren't right, down right. that bad. That's right. I'll be on, on on lighter. Oh, the, it's a light volume. There's yeah. no doubt. There's no doubt. If you're going to go shot, folks, you stay. You, you don't pull that trigger just yet. Yeah. This is going to be a bounce. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's going to be some kind of a bounce. So. I love that screen. Oh man, I do is, too. That's no, a, that's, that's, a that, that, that's that's a new screen. That, that's, I got to call these folks at East Signal. That's a. That's yeah, a Tom, aren't, aren't you guys looking at Bloomy? Yeah, that's a good screen. Come on, that's folks. a good screen. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigers is growling a problem. We appreciate you being out there, folks, and of course, make it a great day. Dow's off sixty-two, Nasdaq off seven, sixteen, S&P's off nine. We're gonna be right back. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become 
a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. And I think there's something wrong with my screen. I think it's all red. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a red screen for a long uh, time. Uh, Let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials. Because you know what the Dow did yesterday, Steve, is that the Dow... Was got into that bar, yes. you know the 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 upside bar. Now you had an expansion of volume yesterday, but today it doesn't look like we have that expansion. You know, no, you, it's shot money. It's one fifty nine, which yeah. which is not that's yeah, that's not even close. Yeah, yeah. The Nasdaq Composite, that's that, the NAS, the Composite's kind of close. The Nasdaq Composite has a little juice in it. Um, I see what the three Qs are doing. She's got just at the open. Yeah, Free Hughes has nothing. Forget it, man. There's, there's, no one's selling Apple. That's the bottom line. No one's selling Apple. I there was a uh, it was it was an interesting comment too because it's a true comment. Uh, is that when so many people are in the money so much as they are at Apple? Yeah, it's like why are they going to sell? You know what what does happen? And and this is why I actually brought this up, in, not in this context yesterday, but. People shouldn't be worrying about paying taxes. <laughs> well, okay. You, yeah. you, you know, yeah. I, if I've seen anything in my lifetime, as soon as people worry about paying taxes, um, what ends up happening, folks, is that they never have any profits. Right. They're gone. Right, right, Seriously. right, right, Seriously. right, right. And when well, I was a kid... That's a really good point. Well, that's experience. Yeah, that's that, right. When I was a kid, you know, it was always the same thing. You know, oh, you don't want to... Now I want to always pay taxes, man. If I, if I pay taxes, Absolutely. I know that's, I'm doing that's right. great. That's right. I mean, it stinks losing 30% of your money, but the other side of it is that's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's better than losing your principal. That's right. You yeah, know? yeah, your goal should be able to... You yeah. Know, pay more. Yeah, okay, totally, cause man. Totally. Because once you're over such a certain level... It's different because your expenses are paid, and it, you know yeah. it's a different ball game. Yes. Let's go to Mark in Massachusetts. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Not much. How are you two this morning? We're Excellent. doing great, man. Hey, Tommy, you should be back up here in Boston. This weather is phenomenal with a capital F. It I, is 
Absolutely gorgeous. What is it, like 75, 80? Yes. I think it's warmer there than that's it is beautiful. down here. Huh? And that's, you know, it's so beautiful. There's nothing like a good day in Boston at 75 degrees. Go along Newbury Street, man. Oh, oh forget it. That's great. Oh, you walk along the Charles River over in the yeah. Cambridge in front of MIT? Totally. Totally. See, Tommy, I think both of you have answered my question. I wanted to, uh, I was thinking about shorting the market with SPXU, but um, from what I was listening to, it doesn't sound like you guys want to do that. No, I'd At wait. not yet. I'd wait. You know, the way that uh, the, the SPXU, folks, is a 300% inverse of the S&P. And the setup is nice. You know, what is happening in the SPXU right now, let me tell you, is that you're getting juice into it. There's volume into it, uh, and dramatic volume. Uh, I would be waiting. Uh, you, you have two, two issues here. Is that you're, you're at Thursday in the market. Friday's going to be hard just to tank the market, number one. The volume today looks to me like it's going to be light. So it's like, okay, it's still not ready yet. You know, this is a deviant market. So it's like, okay. So you turn around, we wait till next week. You know, um, you know the, the clue to me is going to be, what I would love to see is this. The XLE is saying that in the correlation of this whole thing going south, it wants to go south. Because the XLE is going to confirm an ABC structure on the way down. We're already right. at 5 million shares. It only needs 10. Right. Okay, so that's, an, that's, that's, that's correlating it. What I would love to see is a small counter-trend bounce in the XLE, which you, which you very well could get. You know, in, when I say small counter-trend, I'm saying we'll only go back to the open today, which is, you know, it's 71.72. Right now, you're going to, if, so if you go back to about 72, 30, 40, and you do it with light volume, then I, then I would sell that sector. Steve's already shot that sector, but I would sell that sector then. Um, I'm not going to bite yet. The reason I'm not going to bite is because the volume is so light on the NYSE, this thing wants, looks to me like it wants one more pop. You know? and, and, and really what you do, Mark, is go take a look at, at ExxonMobil. You know, and, and ExxonMobil, all ExxonMobil is doing right now is testing the uh, swing point yeah. high volume area from January 31st and rejecting that area. This yeah, morning. well, look at the price of look at the price of oil and natural gas. They're both tanked. Oh, oil a few moments ago was one of four and sheets. It's crawled back up a few pennies. But you know, uh, good for good for Steve's SUV. <laughs> That's You're a right. beautiful thing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Cooking, brother. All right, guys. I'll hang in. There. Have a great day, you guys. Have a great Thanks one. Have going. a safe one. Now let's go to. Uh, it depends where we're going. Whether we're going to Tucson, Arizona. I think, I think Tucson. What, we're what? going to Tucson. We got our man, Mr. Larry Pesavota. Larry, what's going on? Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. He's 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 trading on the other line. We'll get him back. Contact. Just leave that line open now. As soon as he can finishes the. Uh, let's see with Larry trading. Uh, he's he's hitting something. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Let's go over to small caps and take a look at the small caps. So. Small caps. What are we doing here? You got 18 million. I'm looking at the IWM. She just took out a B point. Four million shares. What? How many minutes we got? We get. Yeah, you're looking on, the, on the, just a tight ten minutes. Yeah, versus two. That's not going to fly. So that's not ready yet either. It's going to be a wild day watching this shake out. I would love to see just one fast acceleration up intraday and unload them all. You know, Gold Corp is, uh, I mean, uh, Rango Resources has is having its problems, no doubt. Yeah, got Larry back on. Larry, you out there? Yeah, Larry? I guess not. Okay. We'll get him. Yeah, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yeah, so the IWM, you know, still still tight trading range here. Yes. You can take a look at where it's traded for since since uh, the end of January. Oh, I know. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure whether it's our show or my show in the afternoon. Someone brought up a great point yesterday. Oh, it was in the afternoon show. It was Doug. Yeah. And what he brought up was, watch this, folks. This is pretty bizarre, actually, when you, and when you have to think about it. He was bringing up the point that if you actually go all the way back to last year, the S&P is only 20 oh, points over. Oh, no, no, no question <laughs> that's, about That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think no, I hear no him all there. No question. I think I hear his hoss. Is that Larry Pesavento from Tucson? Hmm. 
Oh, there, there, there he is. Yeah, I, I got a little under the weather. All I wanted to do, uh, Tom, was to tell the folks that, you know, uh, they, they have got a few emails about, you know, wow, the Bradley model's working. It's still too early to tell, you know. Uh, it, 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 we really need to get a move down more than 200 points in the Dow Jones. Okay. And then in one day, and then if that happens, then I would say, yeah, it hit it pretty good. And then all you need to do is if it gets and makes a new high above the high we made this week, then uh, you know there's something seriously wrong. But right now, it looks like it could be working, but it's still way too early. How long is the window in the Bradley model? Well, you can go all the way out to, uh, unfortunately, April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, that's yeah, what I want to hear, it, actually. See, that's yeah, what I well, want to hear, because yeah. I, I, this market here has been so deviant that I was just saying to Steve, I says, you know, people are going to be in shock, but I think we could even yeah. stretch it longer than that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I, I you think know, so. Yeah. All, I, all I feel, though, just by looking at all the technical things that I look at, I think we're going to be looking at something that's going to be really bad to the downside. People are looking for maybe a 3 to 5% correction and possibly 10%, and I wouldn't be surprised if we take out the October lows. Well, they, yeah, listen, man, they're trying to lock me up. I still got my 825 out here. <laughs> I think that's just a normal, normal deal. <laughs> Well, listen, I want to wish everybody, uh, you know, happy trading here, and we'll see what happens over the next few weeks, and I hope to be back in April. All right, man. All right. Well, Thanks you you lot, have a guys. great vacation, man. All right. Bye-bye. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Uh, no doubt. He does sound a little under the weather. He's, he's fine. He's getting on the plane going to China. Who's uh, kidding who? <laughs> he's going to be growling and prowling in China. He's going to – he. let me tell you something, folks. Larry's not going to last a month. There's no way. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen, man. I know him well enough by now. He's going to be grueling problem. We're going to get him live from China. He'll, he'll last a couple weeks. I love it. And he's going to say, oh, man, hold it. I'm going to talk to my people out here. I love it. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, so King Dollar, we haven't talked about King yeah. Dollar. What, what's the king doing? The king is building cars, man. And, and the, the king is going to shock everyone. Let me see. DX, let me get this king. There she is. Okay, so still not, it's still it's building cars. It's being sneaky. It's, it is. it's absolutely being sneaky. So you get a sideways move today, 13 ticks. That's really just a sideways move. Um, we need some strength. You know, you need some strength. It's it's yeah, that's what it needs. You, you know, know. You talk about just simply the power of a channel. Okay, yes. and you just take a look at that monthly chart that I've got up on the screen here. Yes, you know, tracking the uh, tracking King Dollar, if you will. That's right. And it just can't bust through this area here. I mean, it, it keeps trying, but it is just amazing how this uh, channel just just keeps keeps it Hold in check. On. Right now, so what's interesting amazing. about the channel that Steve has up, folks, though, is this: is that if that bust, that's right, the top of that channel. Oh. Is the highs? Uh, it's yeah, yeah. That, that, no, there's it, no question when it does when it does bust through here. Yeah, you know, from from a look from a from a bullish standpoint, when it busts through here, you want to see the correlation that we currently have disappear. Well, this is this is as wild. Know? So check this out. And, and what we're talking about, folks, that means the dollar goes all the way back to the high of 120. Yeah. What I crack up about is that the the correlation. You know, I've been a bull and I've been a bear at all different things, right? But yeah. what, what's it seems to happen whether it's Andrew or somebody says, oh, you embarrass him. So hold it. You know, I've been bullish gold forever. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 there's just certain uh, different correlations, right? Right. Now now the correlation gets, and this is where this gets really bizarre. Yeah. I'm bullish the, the dollar. dollar. Exactly. I'm bullish real estate. I'm right. bullish USA. Right. But what's going to happen, and this is the sick part, folks, if, in fact, that dollar keeps going, the market's going to get smoked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Big deal. But because of the mantra on Wall Street, they want everyone, no, give me your money. Give me your money. Don't worry about it. Come back and see me in 20, 30 years, and, you know, you've made some money. Well, if you haven't made some money, then whoever is around 20, 30 years, they're gone anyway. Say, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, what a racket. I mean, it's a racket beyond belief. Well, did you, I, don't, I didn't get a chance because I was, I, was, I was working on a couple of things yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to catch your show. Were you talking all about the uh, Goldman, you know, now is, you know, the, the, what, what's, what's crazy is when I heard the only comment that I heard, I don't. Well, there was yes. Cudlow show, whichever show was on, you know, in the background, was that in essence what they were saying was that this was a generational opportunity, right now to buy it to buy. Oh, Gener generational opportunity. Where were they 
you know, when when you were going long, when I was going long, when Larry was going long. At the low. Part six. Yeah, right. That was the generational right. opportunity. Right. No, no, absolutely. You know, little did we know how, how powerful it was going to be moving right. out of there. Right. Uh, you know, we certainly saw that. that I remember that. That first day was, was, was great. Right. But, uh, you know, so I, I I hear that and I'm just like, really? Yeah, right. Okay. Not that the market can't continue to, be, but, but still, the generational opportunity was back then. Yeah, it was. It was. And that would be in Ford at a buck, right? <laughs> yeah, that was Ford at a dollar. Well, that was uh, Ford, man, that was uh, man Ford Ed Young. a dollar. Uh, man, Ed Young had got those Tigers and Tigresses into it. No doubt. Yeah. Let me see what Ford is now. Is it Ten bucks, where is it? Twelve bucks. Yeah. That's pretty intense. Yeah, and, and oh, like Ford, you know, it's oh, you know get... stock, except it did have some pretty decent volume off of the uh, when it came down off of the seventeen. Uh, yeah, uh, no, 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 I wouldn't be like, buying it right now. But right, let, let me see. Right. I want to see what Priceline was and Apple. I mean, both th those were probably sick. Let's see. So March, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was sick. All right. So look at this. Now that's sick. Forty five dollars. Now that's sick. Yeah, forty five to seven ten and to seven ten. Yeah. Yeah. Apple was seventy five. Remember buying the calls. It was like seventy-two God. bucks or something like that. Amazing. And uh, yeah, and you know, you got Priceline is up today. Priceline's up six bucks. Google's up. So you know, it it, it really is, folks. Uh, you know, the Dow is down seventy points right now. You know, from my standpoint, it's it's really being it's really paying attention to the strength that's out there and finding seeing when that gets weak. Yes. You know. Yeah. And, no and, doubt. In the queues, and mm -hmm. they got Priceline's up. Google's up. Apple's down a buck. That's nothing. It's a joke. Eighty-nine cents. Yeah. That's, that's a that's a quick. Break. And let, let me tell you something. Uh, they <laughs> when, when, going into that Apple store the other night. Uh, yeah, you don't think that stock's coming down? They're this, this huh? selling product, man. Well, I know they were talking about a new another new iPhone or something this morning. I, I and then they get the Apple TV. Yeah. The, be, the Apple be, TV. Be cool. Well, that'll start building the the deal. I hope they got big seventy inch Apple TVs. <laughs> they better. Like they like they've gotten cost. And they'll probably get seven thousand dollars for Apple TV though. I mean, Seventy inches. They, oh yeah, God. they know how to price things. They really do. They really do. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Don't forget, folks. If you do want to come to Steve Master Trade tomorrow in Denver, you can get a call our office right now. It's going to be uh, all day tomorrow. That's Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Tampa, Florida, April thirteenth, fourteenth. Boston, Massachusetts, on the twenty uh, seventh and twenty eighth. So who's leading the, on the uh, in the financials? Let's go back and take a look at the uh, financials because that has that has been strong out there. Okay, so, so you know, inside the inside the uh, spiders, it's an area where you'd want to be paying attention uh, to. So I can I'll, I'll pull this up, but if we take a look at uh, nothing, well, Discover Financial Discovery is uh, does, that's Discover that's up a buck twenty seven. Okay, the rest of them are basically pretty. Red, but uh, let's take a look at Wells well, Fargo has been strong. So if we just pull up WFC just to see what the correlation is, what it's looking like. Yeah. And hey, I, you do have some volume today. Now, in the financials, XL already yeah. got 44 million shares yesterday. You made high out there with 75 million shares. Okay. That's, you know, we're Steve only Rook. an hour and 10 minutes into trading. Totally. Hour and 10 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. Man, oh, man. Growling and prowling, folks. You stay right there. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Don't forget, folks, Steve's coming to Denver, Colorado in person tomorrow. We're going to be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. Let you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the hollister mine in nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only 527 dollars per ounce great basin gold is cash flow positive and trades on the toronto and new york stock exchanges under the symbol gbg Catch Kate Stalter on the Small Cap Roundup, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern. Up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We get the Dow right now down 88. NASDAQ off 19. S&Ps are off 12. And don't forget, folks, uh, you stay right there because coming up at the 11 o'clock hour, uh, 11 or 12 Eastern time, we've got Kate Stalter. Uh, coming from to you from uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Then uh, we're going to uh, go over to Tucson, Arizona. We get Larry from 12 to 1 back. Oh, uh, then over to California. Hey, you got to love this, man. Yes. 3 to 4, we get our man Ken Shreve. And then back to uh, Tampa, Florida, 4 to 6. Absolutely. Well, this market's going to get interesting, man. I mean, it's getting a little pressure. Uh, th those S&Ps are getting some pressure right now. So let me just see this thing. We don't, it still hasn't blown out yet. But uh, you got a counter trend bounce. Of the, of the spies back up to one thirty nine fourteen. It get that kind of kind of interesting, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, this is. Uh, I just we just looked at Caterpillar, and Caterpillar looks like it's also doing a little ABC down, and that's been. They, you want to hear something sick? Caterpillar could actually come down fifty percent from its high. Yeah, yeah. That's, if we were taking like a look. Yeah. take a look at that uh, volume bar. That's, that's there. pretty bizarre. I mean. If you look at Caterpillar, folks, the high in Caterpillar is a buck sixteen. Well, what's sticking out like a sore thumb is seventy-two bucks. <laughs> that's and you know if you think that's bizarre, go look at Wrangell Resources because Wrangell did the same thing. And you know, yeah, it takes a few months to come down there, but all of a sudden, bingo, then you're down there, which is just amazing. Yeah. So I mean, and there is some volume out there. Uh, you know, take a look at the diamonds. So if we take a look at the diamonds, the diamonds, as you were pointing out, you know, the Dow got uh, inside the uh, March 13th. Yes. You know, bar. 
uh, right now. Uh, that bar on the diamonds has got uh, 8.7 million, 8.8 .8 million shares or right. so. Right. Yeah, 0.7 million. And, you know, you've done 2.7 yep. in the first hour and a half. So it's got some uh, juice there. Now, what you've got on the diamonds, you've got a gap. Uh, you know, if, if the diamonds can clear this area, it's going to come down and at least tag the March 6th swing point. Yeah. And if you get down there, that's only got 14.4 million shares. I mean, it's decent volume. But, uh, you know, that's, that's what you want to watch, folks, is you want to take a look at, see what the volume is doing today. Oh, big time. As things are moving down. You know, because we and haven't... Go, go take a look at the financials. Go take a look yeah. at the XLE. Uh, and I would also say uh, take a look and find out where the uh, NQ finishes the uh, day. Now, look, look at Baker Hughes. See, there's something wrong with this, uh, this whole deal. Yeah. Baker, Baker Hughes, folks, has come straight down from 61 to 43. It's going to blow away its swing point today. Yeah, what's behind it, then? And... Go back further. Uh, what, what's the? I mean, because that, that was some pretty major volume there yesterday. Look at this. Just, just look at this. What, what, where do you see this? When, when you, when you actually put this up, it, it, it actually blew my mind. I put it up yesterday. What, what you've had is this: is that you're, you're coming into the, the swing low of forty-one with, with volume right. on a weekly, right? right? Right. The week's not over. Then, then if you take a look at this thing, watch this. I'll put this in a five here, and you'll see how sick this is. What's going on is that this thing's going into its lows, period. You, you break that, we're going to be all the way down to 39. Why doesn't mm. this give me a five-year? Get it. That's it. There she is. Now. Is that five years? No, it's still not. No, nine. because you're still at 2010. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do a, we'll do a maximum. I'll do a quarterly. Okay, so now... Yeah, so you're saying... Yeah, it's already into it, man. This thing can go to 24 bucks. That's sick. And, and oh, this is what's so cool about this. I knew I knew I wanted to show something. What's so cool is that this equity, and this is where the lead is versus what's leading down. Yeah. See, see what it did? It went from $24. It went all the way up to 80 Yeah. And that's it's like already cut in half. Retracement. Yeah. It was yeah, at yeah, 80 yeah. in September. But that's a heads up, because the reason that's a heads up, folks, is that... <laughs> it's my 825. <laughs> it's sick. Oh, let me tell you, I, I know it's sick. I know. I, I, know. It. I love it. I get an appointment for the, for the psychiatrist this afternoon. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you stay right there, folks. We get Kate, we get Kate Stolt uh, coming, uh, coming right up from uh, Santa Fe with the small cap roundup. Larry Pesavento, uh, 12 to 1. Ken Tree, 3 to 4. Don't forget, folks, Steve's getting on the plane right now. You want to see him tomorrow? Go over to our website right now or call up. March 20th, Thursday, Friday. Take care. Friday, Saturday. Take care.